In every story I have told at YSOY so far, I have told a comedy. Not this year. I thought I would break with my conventions and I would tell a story that resonates with my heart, but one that is serious. <laughs> what do you think when I say hero? A person of Herculean nature, quite often tall, muscular, muscular, <laughs> and bold. Well, one out of three isn't bad, so this is a tale of time gone by, and of a soldier who was short, who was weedy, but full of boldness. And the army had been sent to a skirmish in countryside, and when they had dealt with it, soldiers were due to return home. And well, this soldier, he walked and walked, and as he drew near to his native village, he came across the mill. And in his youth, he had been fantastic friends with the miller. So he decided he would stop in and catch up with his old friend. And when he went in, the miller received him cordially and at once brought out the liquor. Well, this was Russia and they do like their drink. And one drink led to another and another. And with each drink, their tongues became more and more loose, and things that would otherwise not be spoken were said. And darkness began to fall upon them. And well, the soldier wanted to go back home. He hadn't seen his family in I don't know how long. And just as he was about to leave, the miller stopped him. You can't be doing that. You might run into mischief. We are cursed, cursed by God. For every night, from his grave rises a vampire, and he does such terrible things as bring fear into the very boldest. How can even you help being afraid of him? And well, the soldier was one of those drunks that gets incredibly self-confident. <laughs> and he was having none of it. I am a man of the crown, and crown property cannot be drowned in water nor burnt in fire. I'll be off. And off he went. And as he neared ever closer to the village, he passed the graveyard. And a glint caught the corner of his eye. And as he looked, he saw a great fire blazing by one of the graves. And he edged closer, and he could see the vampire there, flossing his teeth, as you do. And he was quite curious as to why such things were happening and what such things the vampire did. And so he approached him. What is it I do? Well, at the moment, nothing important. But I do have some business to attend which you can escort me on. Well, it was agreed. And a short while later, the soldier followed the vampire into the village. And the vampire stopped and nodded curtly to a grand house where they could hear singing and merriment. And when they entered, they were given, yeah, you guessed it, more drink. <coughs> For this, they soon found out, was a pre-wedding party. And all of the family and friends and most of the village had turned out. And the hours grew later and later and the amount of alcohol consumed grew more and more. And we can only assume that the vampire had had one drink too many, maybe Stella Artois, as it is known as the wife beater. For he showed his fangs. And well, the family, the village, they weren't staying there when they knew who it was. They fled, but two were left. The bride and bridegroom were in a deep slumber, for they had been working hard that day in preparation for the wedding. And they didn't realise who was there. They were fast, sound, asleep. And the vampire, he went up to them. He pulled out from his pockets some files and a sharp silver instrument. And he began withdrawing their blood. And when the files were full, he put them in his pockets. 
and he left the house with the soldier scurrying behind. And when the soldier caught up, he had so many questions in his head, he could not resist. Curiosity killed the cat. He wasn't too worried about that. He was brave, he was bold, and he desired to be told. The answer to the question in his thinking had. Why did I do such a thing? Well, so that they may not wake up. I require pure blood, and after their wedding they shall no longer be pure. Only I know how to wake them. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. He wasn't too worried about that. He was brave, he was bold, and he desired to be told. The answer to the question in his thinking, hat. How do you wake them? Well, it's easy if you know. You see, I took their blood. Well, in my right pocket I have the brides, and in the left I have the bridegrooms. If anyone were to get those files and inject them back in their heels, then they shall wake. But it's so obscure, no one will think of it. And anyway, I have the blood. Anything I want, I can do. Curiosity killed the cat. He wasn't too worried about that. He was brave, he was bold, and he desired to be told. The answer to the question in his thinking, hat. Can anyone kill me? Of course, if you know how. It's quite simple. If you were to get aspen wood, hundred pile load, and when I was sleeping, chuck it on me and set it alight, then I would be dead. But not until from my body would come snakes and worms and moles and voles and maggots, and from my head would come crows and jackdaws and magpies, and all of these must be flung onto the fire. If so much as a single maggot were to escape in that maggot, I would be free. And well, the soldier, as drunk as he may have been, was listening to everything, and he was storing it in his memory. But as the, as the vampire stopped speaking, the soldier realised they were back at the graveyard, and the day was nearly beginning. Right now, uh, I shall kill you. You know too much. And well, a great battle ensued. But after all, the soldier, he was short. He was weedy. And despite being full of boldness, he could not fight off such a strong vampire for very long. And the vampire was ready to come crashing down, its teeth out, sharp as fangs, white as milk. Saliva congregating at the tips, ready to pierce the soldier's neck and draw the blood and life from his body. When the cock crowed, and the vampire fell lifeless to the ground, and the soldier knew what he needed to do. He took those vials of blood, and he set off to the village. And he set off to the house of the uh, soon-to-be wedded pair. And where there was singing the night before, there was now weeping. And he entered and saw all of the family and friends there, tears rolling down their face. Do not worry! I know how to save them. Let me do this. And he did as the vampire had told him. And... They were brought back to life. And well, he st When the cock crowed, and the vampire fell lifeless to the ground, and the soldier knew what he needed to do, he took those vials of blood, and he set off to the village. And he set off to the house of the uh, soon-to-be wedded pair. And where there was singing the night before, there was now weeping. And he entered and saw all of the family and friends there, tears rolling down their face. Do not worry! I know how to save them. 
Let me do this. And he did as the vampire had told him. And they were brought back to life. And well, he when the cock crowed and the vampire fell lifeless to the ground and the soldier knew what he needed to do. He took those vials of blood and he set off to the village and he set off to the house of the uh, soon-to-be wedded pair and where there was singing the night before, there was now weeping and he entered and saw all of the family and friends there, tears rolling down their face. Do not worry, I know how to save them. Let me do this, and he did as the vampire...